All right, g'day, hi, and welcome. Okay, sorry I got to use the the crappy camera right now because my other camera is uh, basically full and my laptop is full. So yeah, I got to use this thing. I know the color's no good and it's it's not very bright or whatever, but it is what it is. So what are you looking at here? A UFO? Some sort of a weird kind of cultish pentagrammy thingy? No, you're looking at a beaver stretcher, and I'll show you some of my trapping boards. I'm going to do a better better uh use my my gopro for the the trapping board series but i made two uh medium otter look like here's what i did uh, mark all your boards looks like i misspelled mother but there's a little period there so you can see i at medium otter so the reason why i made these two boards was i like to have a surplus ahead so that you're not always oh my god i got something now i gotta make uh whatever okay so yesterday i busted my ass and i not only skinned that medium otter there it's a female little female uh i skinned it i also made uh, or fleshed it so now it's should be pretty before you stretch them always make sure they're really dry now unfortunately i know somebody asked me you know if i could do the head cam kind of thing so we could see how i put it on there and stretch it because they didn't like the the other angle and stuff like that and i wanted to do that with this one but like i say all my laptop everything is all full and i gotta my, right after i do this i gotta clean up in here i gotta do something with these get these ready uh these traps are a couple of these traps are uh, in need of fixing and uh those two traps there should still be good to go so i gotta fix those two or that one that one and that one uh and then uh, next week hopefully i'll be trapping the other thing look what i found while i was cleaning up my shed i found an otter skull fully intact too it's a little dirty that's the tool of the day right there that that little kind of semi-worn out uh jigsaw i will show you an inventory of my beaver stretchers and my trapping boards which what i try to do is at least if you have one of each type of board Preferably make them out of pine, not uh, not uh, poplar, because the poplar boards are pretty hard to get those thumbtacks in. And I thought I had way more thumbtacks, but apparently I don't. Uh, but anyway, long story short, I got a bunch of mink boards and stuff like that that I had bought and when I first moved back up here in, uh, uh, about a decade ago and, and bought a whole bunch of trapping supplies. And I just bought a little bit of everything. I got a couple of Martin ones, mink ones. And there are different sizes. And we're going to get a whole series on just trapping boards. Just so you can get an idea of what you're going to need. Uh, but I'll make them out of anything. Usually I'll make them as I need them. Um, but once you start getting into like large otter, lynx, fox, raccoon, the boards are going to start to get pretty wide on you. And then of course the big one is the wolf and the second one is coyote or really small wolf uh and stuff like that but uh I, I cut a whole bunch of wood a couple of years ago uh started making boards and i'm constantly it seems like i'm always running out of otter boards so that's the one that one otter board i bought and that they're expensive medium otter boards are expensive it's almost a hundred dollars per board for the large otter boards which are a little bit bigger i've tried some radical experimentations with the medium board it didn't quite work out figured kind of instead of like a wire stretcher do like that but that board's really it was a noble plan till it failed i'll just say that because of where the tail is and stuff like that it wasn't quite long enough and i couldn't quite get away with it uh it was just a little too short on one end like where where the tail is and yeah so it just it just didn't line up but the concept was good uh the wire stretchers that i have over here these were my dad's my dad was mentioning them the other day while I was working on the otter. So don't I have a bunch of those? But they're, they're, they're meant for muskrats that I got in there. I'll show you those stretchers, uh, you know, again, with the better camera and all that. But uh, that's what I got going on. So I'm going to get this uh, otter, this nice little female otter here. Uh, it looks really good. Look at that. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But the guard air doesn't look too bad. That, that looks like it's almost a prime pelt and getting close. Not quite. Not quite. I mean, the guard here is not perfect, but that otter, no holes in it. <laughs> Very happy about that. Fleshed it really nice. Uh, and this otter, it, it took, so far I've got about four hours into it. Uh, now, if you add up the trapping board that I just made, the two boards that I just made, there's about another 
half hour, 45 minutes right there. Uh, and now I'm going to pin it up. So I'm going to have probably about four and a half hours of work into that one. But that one I did really, really well on the fleshing. I did really, really well not putting any holes in it. And why I put holes in the other one, that big otter, was because it was slightly froze when I started fleshing it. And it doesn't take much for a hard chunk to, you know, the knife will go in. That said, my knives are outside uh, because they, they stink. <laughs> uh, that, that little guy smells too, so I'm going to get him on the board to get him out of here. But I've been letting it dry pretty much all day, the pelt, uh, before I board it. I do that all the time, all my furs. You never want a wet pelt on the board because it will mold and rot and all kinds of bad things will happen. So you really want to keep it as dry as possible so it don't ruin, the, ruin your pelts. Um yeah um anyway that said i'm gonna get uh i'm gonna get this uh otter onto one of those boards i already tried it on the 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 uh, board in behind there but it didn't work uh so i'm gonna get that otter on there and that'll be otter number three unfortunately i won't bother i won't bother showing you on this because i showed you on the other one and uh you know again it wasn't the best angle uh, so I'll, next one, I'll, I'll see if I can, and there's one more big otter back there for sure. This was the smaller of the two. It was the day before, if you guys, uh, watched the video where I saw the two otter tracks side by side. And I think this was the smaller of the two for sure. And this morning when I went back there, I was surprised the second one wasn't in there. Uh, he must've come up somewhere else, but, uh, it's a little bit on the mild side right now. We're just getting one of those little kind of Chinooks coming in. But the weather's about to change probably next week. It'll start getting really cold again. And uh, so right now things are going to move around. So uh, the ice has opened up a bit. Uh, so that, the good news about that is that it makes, you know, things will start using the spillway again when, you know, when it warms up a bit. So my odds of catching that fourth otter is going to be pretty high. Um, and I still got to get the wolves and coyotes. There's a guy today... So, uh, I told him that I was trapping and he's like, oh yeah, you want some bear bait? Uh, I said, stuff I was going to use for bear bait, some old meat and stuff like that that I got to throw out. He's going to drop it off at the house here. And so I got stuff for my wolves and coyotes and whatever uh, coming in. Uh, plus I got three otter carcasses and a still peat particles of a rotten turkey. <laughs> well, a, a pre-cooked <laughs> uh, old turkey, you know, whatever. So I got all that. And then... Uh, yeah, I'm going to get all this ready. Uh, this thing, I got to get it out of here. It's such a pain in the ass. It's just like trashing everything every time I move. It knocks everything down. Uh, but I have um, th this piece of poplar here. I do have a actual, uh, you know, actual, I'm going to use it. Uh, but I'm going to probably get out to, now that I got my CRV back, I'm going to get out to the... Um, where I was asked to trap out those beaver probably next week. And what I'm going to do there is basically in, in a nutshell is uh, there's two good beaver dams there. I mean, there's probably about 10, da uh, 10 beaver dams there, but two good beaver houses that I can just step out onto. And if I can get those, um, maybe I'll get some more beaver there. Uh, my traps, maybe this week, next week, whatever, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm almost got everything, all my traps out set or whatever. I'm going to keep those two traps for, I think I got four more little 160s to put out for mink and fox and, you know, little guys like that. Maybe the odd raccoon. Um, uh, yeah, if, if there's any raccoons still moving around right now. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to put all that out. Once I get that done, I'm going to focus solely on my wolf snares, which are buried under there. Uh, I'm going to get those out. The other little snares I'm not going to bother with. They're too small. And maybe I'll set some up for Fox, maybe uh, whatever. Uh, Bobcat and Lynx, uh, Bobcat are off the, off the ticket here. Uh, because we, they're kind of, they're kind of, uh, Wolverine, I'm not allowed to catch a Wolverine or Bobcat, but there's, I've never seen a Bobcat in my life, so. Uh, I've seen maybe two links in my life. Uh, I've seen many, usually there's one or two links that move through every year. Uh, I've seen cougar tracks. I've seen, uh, I've seen, <laughs> this is kind of an interesting story. Uh, just up the road that way a bit. Uh, when I was a kid, I saw a Wolverine and about 10 years or 15 years later, I saw a Wolverine in the exact same spot with a really white head. I, I think it's the same one just that many years later. I don't know how long they, they live, but they can live pretty long. So, 
Uh, maybe that was probably the same one or just maybe that's where they are. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so that's what I got going on. Uh, it's, you know, not, so far not too bad. I mean, I'm three furs, so three furs. About a fur a week, roughly, so far. I mean, considering all that's off of one trap. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. But, I mean, that as soon, like I say, I, I was late to the season. I'd have a lot more right now if I wasn't, you know, uh, late to the season. I mean, there's no excuses right now, really, that I can say, well, it's, you know, uh, because of this, because of that. But I mean, I got a lot of other things on the go too. So it's kind of, you know, I only, you know, I can only set a, spend about an hour or so a day setting things up. So uh, I didn't get any new traps out today, but I'm almost all, my traps are almost all out. I don't have that many traps to begin with. Uh, but I'm also, well, legal traps. I got lots of traps, but not all, not a lot of traps I can use. My wolf trap needs a repair. I need a new trigger or a, a new catch a, a dog catch or whatever as they call it uh the old traps like that uh, i just want to clean them up and i don't know maybe i'll hang them or something just to kind of get them out of the way uh i don't use these maybe next year i'll use them as you know in drowning sets or something like that if i get set up but there's a lot of things i got to get to be set up i still got a little bit of chain left so i can use that uh the problem with that chain is i need to uh get it coated uh you know, dull it, that type of thing. Um, I use galvanized chain, you know, whatever, usually, uh, because, you know, it's dull and it's, it, uh, you know, it's weatherproof, uh, that stuff there's like, like CAD plated or whatever. It's a, like a Chrome type of thing. Um, it works. It works. Uh, the other things I need to do is make a few, just a few other little, little things to, uh, just make my trapping easier to do more efficient, not, cut me down on time uh but anyway there we go that's what i got going on obviously the videos are going to keep coming uh as as i do this filming and doing this at the same time takes up a lot of time on both uh today like for example i just uploaded probably about 60 gigs probably did over 200 gigs of uploading this week <laughs> you know like the, the gopro is like every video is like three and a half gigs right so that takes up a lot of time too and then uh, that also slows me down uh when i you know, sometimes what happens is I have to divert back to this while, you know, I'm getting all the, you know, clearing out my, my hard drive and, you know, I'm trying to put some, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, clips of videos together so that I can, you know, in February, probably about, well, it could be mid January, could be February. We'll see how I'm going with the trapping. I might end the season earlier this year, just at, uh, you know, uh, basically, Probably around January 1st will be whatever furs I got. That's what I'm sending for the 18th. So somewhere around early January, I might actually say, okay, that's it for this year. Next year, I'll do more. But then again, I could go right through till February. After February, there's really no point because the furs are no good. Uh, well, not that they're no good, but they're just, you know, once you get to March, like th there's almost no market value for any of the furs at all because all the guard hair starts coming out and stuff like that. So anyway, I've got, I think enough talking. Got to get that done. It's been a busy day anyway. Um, my days are busy. Uh, that there was a, that, that was a busy day. I started early. I started that at 11 o'clock yesterday and it wasn't done till three. So, you know, five to 11, it was like, wasn't done till three plus the, you know, hour there and back. Uh, it's, it, it makes for a long day, but, uh, if I would have had the board ready, I probably would have put that on the board last night. Uh, it's okay. I left it outside in, in my freezer bag, in the, in that bag there in the freezer. It didn't freeze last night. Uh, I was kind of, uh, kind of surprised it didn't freeze. So I definitely have to get it boarded today, but it's, I mean, all I got to do is board it. I don't have to do any flashing or anything like that. That's all done. Did a good job yesterday with it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There we go. Um, and, uh, yeah, there we go.